everyone. This is Lawrence. A very special video I'm doing. And that was the monkeys ripping off the little rascals good loving. <laughs> doing a great job off of it too. Speaking of the monkeys, this is what this video is about. Um, doing a series of um, thrift store vinyl finds from the year 2017 and 18 because those years were great and um, great finds and I didn't have time to make videos as I was going along but since I'm retired now I thought I'd just go ahead and make a series of videos so um, this is one of the first ones yay yay me okay um, this was a very, very unusual and lucky find from last year, about February. The year was still um, young, new, uh, 2018, and um, went up to my um, first store up the street, which is the one I go to quite often, and um, come upon an incredible find and an unusual find. Um, I found the first four monkey albums all um, mono except the last one which was originally released in stereo but anyway I see monkey albums the monkeys I see their albums all the time at thrift stores but they're usually in horrible condition because teenagers did not take care of their records okay uh, your classical music people took care of their records, not teenagers, not not rock and rollers, with exceptions. And whoever had these albums was the exception. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, show them one at a time. This is the debut album, when a track we were just listening to there, "Let's Dance On" was the track. And there's the album, and the uh, radio, big radio hit from here was Last Train to Clarksville, and of course the theme, uh, Monkey, uh, theme to the Monkey, the TV series. Um, all the tracks are great, I enjoyed them all. And then about um, night, early 1967, the uh, follow-up album, a sophomore album, came out, More of the Monkeys. See, they're doing that rubber sole um, pose there. Copyright album infringement, <laughs> copyright. Um, so that's pretty cool. And the big hits from here was uh, Mary Mary, and I'm a Believer. All, all the songs are great though. Th there's the backside. Um, me. Meet the Monkeys. Did I say Meet the Monkeys? The Monkeys, but it says on the back, Meet the Monkeys, along with some bio. Um, this one's in shrink wrap. Uh, the, the other one and this one is in mono. So that means uh, early pressings. You know, I don't have, uh, you know, like the, the third or fourth pressings. This is the early pressings in shrink wrap. Whoever had these took very good care of them. Uh, the follow-up headquarters and shrink wrap in mono. It even has uh, on the back uh, right, uh, right to the Monkees fan club. Um, you know, screen, screen gems, Hollywood, um, North Beachwood Drive, Hollywood, California. Uh, pretty cool, 1967, manufactured and distributed by RCA. Good pictures behind there. And Shrink Wrap, these albums, like I said, the albums themselves are in excellent playing condition. Um, they're, they're nice and clean. And the fourth one, and this is where they started taking more creative control. Uh, when did this, this has a copyright, 1967. 
I guess the TV series was still going, but they uh, were taking more creative control and playing a little bit more of the instruments, although they had uh, session players as well. And uh, Mickey Dolls, D-O-L-E-N-Z, is a fantastic vocalist. I always loved his vocals. Um, so this one came out, it kind of was going with the times, you know, things were getting a little trippy, psychedelic, and that, some of the tracks have that kind of vibe to it. Um, so, this one's on the turntable. First four Monkey albums, early release, three of them are in mono, the fourth one's in stereo, but by the time that was released, it was released, issued in stereo, not mono. Everything was switching over by then. Excellent condition. Three of them have shrink, shrink wraps. This one doesn't, but the, the cover's in really good condition. Um, I got them all for $2.99. Um, they marked them up a little bit, but still, I don't mind paying $2.99. And if I would put these on Discogs uh, to flip them, I think I would get some money. I have to check to see uh, what they're going for, but because they were uh, such a um, novelty act group and people have fond memories of them, uh, they're still pretty popular. And in 2016, of course, without Davey, who unfortunately passed, but they used um, um, his voice from you know previous recordings uh, they put out a new album uh, called um, Memory Block Here, Memory Block. Um, fun Times. Oh, Good Times. Good Times. Okay. It's a van it was a fantastic album. Um, you know, when I was growing up, when, you know, the monkeys were big and they were charting um, singles, I just thought of them as a kind of a goofy... Um, you know, band that really produced good, you know, top 40 music. And, uh, you know, the TV show was way over the top, you know, the comedy. But um, I like the personalities, you know, they seem to jive. Um, but as I got hold of their albums and started listening to them, I, I realized, uh, <coughs> you know, it wasn't just albums with hits and then filler the entire they're all their albums these albums are great and you want to listen to every track so I'm, I'm my appreciation for the monkeys really went up and i consider them one of the greatest pop bands ever uh later that year two more i want to show you um well previously before i got the four there um I did find more of the monkeys, a German pressing, and it's on the RCA label, you know, overseas. It's still in mono. It's in decent playing condition, you know. Um, I can hang with it. You know, much different in the back, too. And um, so, you know, I'm ha happy to have that. And then later in the summer, after Mike Nesman left and did things on his own, became an artist in his own right, and wrote the big hit, Different Drum, which Linda Ronstead recorded in the Stone Ponies, um, I came across this album with the three remaining monkeys. And this was a, a good album, a little less um, fun, more serious, but still really good. Um, and you see that, you know, now there was three. So, I want to keep this video short, show off my Monkey albums. Uh, I think tomorrow, or the next day, I will do another video of 2017-2018 uh, finds. Um, 
thank you everyone for watching this video I want to do a quick plug for my Facebook page called the independent music listener that's devoted to um, newer recording artists who do not get the recognition they deserve in the mainstream um, primarily you know artists who um, have sound found success a, a, a following and they sell a few albums and some of them even charted a pretty good on their albums but you know still not a, as uh, popular as say Lady Gaga but anyway I uh, I hope you'll go to that site and look it over and uh, consider um, uh, joining it if you like what you see. Uh, I want to wish everyone a nice day. Uh, it was very overcast and rainy out today, but uh, we're having fun. Okay, uh, have a good day everyone. Bye-bye.